What's up everyone? I have a 5 Cobra victory for you today. I've been grinding this one for months. It's been super difficult to get for some reason. You might think that Cobra is uh, such a good unit that the 5 of a kind isn't going to be really an issue, but unfortunately because stuff like uh, Peter Brett and uh, Guinea Fowl exist, the snipes most of the time can be detrimental especially if your cobras have not been scaled up yet but thankfully we managed to work around this in this run and uh, i'll show you how i did it but for now we are just trying to survive somehow we'll do that via a level up on turn 3 into an osprey which can be pretty good especially when you sell an opossum onto it we also get a hercules beetle which is going to prove to be very useful it can start accumulating uh, attack from now and uh, in the future when we sell it, hopefully we sell it onto the Cobras, onto multiple Cobras and we get to have a high attack Cobra that can snipe for the uh, enemy team to be disrupted. Here we level up into a Weasel as well which is uh, very nice to see. We are going to be employing the same strategy as we did yesterday with the 5 Birds of Paradise. Weasel is just a very good unit, it has so good base stats, it has the ability to generate some extra gold. Unfortunately I had internet issues while recording this, so you can see this is taking a lot of time to complete. Thankfully in uh, post editing I can speed it up 4 times for you so you don't have to wait around until the end of that. But uh, yeah we level up into a manatee here which can be pretty good. As I said in the previous video Egyptian Vulture is also pretty nice but it, uh, we didn't get an offer of an Egyptian Vulture this time. Uh, Manatee can be useful because you can put a banana on it on turn 7 and uh, it will have already damaged itself for uh, 10 HP so it's going to be ready to receive the banana and transform into a monkey. I don't think monkey however is very useful for this build because if you're going to be scaling up cobras I think it's most beneficial to have your cobras in second position so they do get to snipe. Uh, so for that purpose I think I may be going to just combine manatees and uh, forsake the banana. Let's see what I do here. Yep, I'm thinking about it, I'm considering it very long and hard and in the end I do manage to combine them. It also has the benefit of uh, potentially giving us another level up on turn 9 which uh, we are lucky enough to find, we do find another manatee in the shop as well as a weasel, so now we have two level ups prepared for turn 9. By the way, I think this is the same team that defeated the 5 birds of paradise on turn 7 yesterday. They defeat us today as well, which is unfortunate, but thankfully uh, the shop luck makes up for the matchup luck. We find two avocados, we find two level ups, so we are set up very nicely, set up for success. Unfortunately the breakpoints on this match aren't uh, perfect either, so we are going to lose here again. It's no big deal though, we do have two level ups to look forward to, so let's take them, let's see what they provide us with. First one is useless, Terranodon could actually be kind of interesting with the manatee. And uh, I've been cooking up a strategy with uh, Pteranodon plus Manatee plus Bananas to rapidly print a, a team of monkeys. But uh, I don't know if it's strong enough to survive. I think I'll keep trying um, for the future. But for now, uh, the second level up of the turn was a Bird of Paradise, which I think could have been the best thing I could have hoped for. Even better than a Cobra. Ideally I'm going to want to have the Bird of Paradise up to at least level 2 before I start including Cobras in the team so I can start scaling them up as rapidly as possible. This is looking kind of scary but we do draw just barely there. And uh, we're happy with draws, we need a lot of time to find the Cobras, we take a level up here into an Oyster which you love to see when you have a Bird of Paradise on the team. 
Bird of Paradise honestly plays pretty interesting, it's kind of like a dragon in the sense that you want to have a slot open just for the buy selling of uh, oysters. Like if you get lucky with oyster uh, in the shop and you get multiple of them you can get such good scaling so quickly and uh, there we lose due to bad luck I believe I think the bird of paradise there was the only survivor and it was the weakest survivor out of them all but uh, it doesn't really matter we still have two hearts we keep finding a lot of avocados we can even buy sell the oyster now so we are just hoping for some cobras to come in the shop we level into one from the bird of paradise level and we find another one just naturally rolling so we will sell the manatee for it thankfully bird of paradise uh, treats us nicely it gets to hit both of the cobras it wasn't a guarantee that it would let's see if we win here we probably won't Yep, they have level 2 catfish, level 2 blue ringed octopus, which is unfortunate. And now we are on one heart, but uh, this is the turn we get to sell the Hercules beetle that we've been building up. So the frontline cobra has 25 attack now, we can even include the third one. And I think my priority here was to get the bird of paradise up to level 3 before getting... Uh, any cobra levels and I think it's going to pay out in the long run we got very lucky on this turn by the way with the amount of cobras that we received I think we found two of them on this turn which is very lucky our opponent has a cobra as well but uh, the stats that we have are just insanely high and we end up winning so as I said before I don't think I'm going to be including the fourth Cobra on the team I think uh, having a slot open for buy and selling of uh, oysters is more beneficial Fourth Cobra will come in later I believe when uh, the uh, Cobras are starting to reach 50-50 that we have on the team but for now we still have a ways to go they're only at uh, 36 attack the highest one has we get a level 2 here it's kind of interesting that you don't want your strongest cobra to be the level 2 one usually you would want to put all of your scaling into the cobra so it has the uh, highest damage snipes but um, you want the highest uh, stat cobra to be the stat stick to survive uh, for multiple hits here we actually mess up their order because we managed to snipe a German Shepherd through the potato so we had a 17 damage snipe that's actually insane. So uh, yeah I think we might include the uh, fourth Cobra soon because we are approaching 50 attack on these. Uh, yep frontline is 46 attack second in position is now 46 as well very lucky row by the way we found a lot of stuff that we want to see i think we're going to win here like uh, the scaling for turn 14 i believe is uh, just incredible so yep we win against this summon team it's kind of interesting to decide how to buy in which order so i decide to go for the oysters first so that they don't soak up any of the stats from the bird of paradise i think next up i'm going to buy the avocado yup and uh, probably a cobra is going to come in at the end of the turn if i had to assume because two of the cobras already have 50 attack yup okay Currently future me is uh, being uh, in agreement with past me in a, uh, regarding the place which is kind of nice to see What is also nice to see is getting another snipe through a potato this time on a grizzly bear so yeah that's incredible What is also incredible is us finding the fifth cobra so soon so we don't have to worry about trolling We can just buy pretzels even lettuce works because all of the cobras are tier 6 obviously we are running the risk of hitting a bird of paradise with uh, the lettuce but i think it's a risk worth taking so yeah this should be a win as well 
they have a very scary level 3 highland cow but we have multiple 50 50s so it's not really a big deal and yeah another lucky roll which um, I think is going to signify the end of the run this should be uh, where it all closes out we are going to make the final transition and very luckily if I remember right yep we roll straight into a potato which I think is the best equipment from the backline because it can absorb multiple tomato snipes so we are going to take just that and uh, this is going to be the run I hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you did I hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff and uh, I'll talk to you next time take care